tech giant is now joining the fight against the opioid crisis. Google Maps is now providing permanent drop-off locations for unused drugs and medications. So this effort is part of a partnership with the Drug Enforcement Agency, the Department of Health and Human Services, uh, pharmacies like CVS and Walgreens, and state governments. And the goal is simple, get unused and unwanted medications off the streets. Detective Brian Ackerman never knows what he'll find when he opens the drug drop-off box in the lobby of the Cumberland County Jail. This is a small amount. Normally I clean it out once a week and it's right to the top of, of the bin. Hundreds of pounds of unused medications, including addictive painkillers, out of homes and now in the hands of law enforcement. Now normally when I come back, this bag is probably up to here. Twice a year, Maine participates in the National Drug Take Back Day. During the most recent one, Maine ranked 11th highest in the nation for total pounds of medication turned in. But when you consider the state's population, Maine ranks number one in pounds of drugs turned in per capita every single time. It's not a great statistic to have. Amounts never go down. To help more people find places to get rid of unwanted medications, Google Maps will display these locations with a simple search, drug disposal near me. Uh, we've noticed a huge increase in searches for medication disposal near me. In fact, searches for that those terms actually peaked last month in January. Google reports 50,000 search queries a day for opioid-related topics, trends that indicate how hard this epidemic is hitting communities nationwide. You know, that was really our goal, is to, to make this accessible to more people in more places. Tell you that we, you know, we commonly see a lot of heavy narcotics that are in that box. Helping more people get rid of these life-changing medications before someone else gets addicted. It all helps. It all helps. So Google is still waiting on many of the state government entities, such as police departments, to submit their data to the company so that they can actually put those permanent drop-off locations on Google Maps. And until then, Google shows drop-off locations at the pharmacies that they partnered sure. with, like CVS and Walgreens. So earlier today, when I was with Detective Ackerman at the Sheriff's Department, he showed me these boxes. They go up to the ceiling. And he says they filled them with unwanted medications in just three weeks. Wow. And that right there is just a fraction of the total they have in a different storage area. That's unbelievable.